So how about those Las Vegas Raiders proving that the 3-0 start was not at least completely a fluke. Uh, at least they're looking a lot better than Denver, who also started 3-0. Uh, I think a couple guys we got to give shout-outs to. Greg Olson right off the bat. He was the new offensive play caller, you know, replacing Gruden. I thought he did a very good job in this one. Uh, and obviously, the guy who's going to be on the thumbnail, Derek Carr, was, well, he was Derek Carr in this game. I mean, Derek Carr is a legit good and maybe great quarterback. Uh, you know, I think, again, we've kind of cooled off on him a bit after those past couple weeks, but I felt like a lot of it wasn't really, uh, you know, it was kind of outside of his control. He really showcased his talents in this game against Denver. So let's just talk about it and talk about what happened. So let's start things off with this one. This is going to be man coverage. It's a, a third down and two. It seems like Denver's trying to play more man, trying to mix stuff up a little bit more given how you know, uh, things haven't gone well the past couple weeks, so they got to start trying new stuff. However, this isn't going to work out too well. Uh, what's going to happen is that basically, I mean, this is kind of what rugs can do to people against man coverage because it's a third down and two, and it is man coverage, and watch what happens. Carr takes the snap. Not exactly a blitz, although it is a five-man rush. Uh, Carr makes this throw. Uh, just to explain what I mean by that, since the halfback was blocking, the player who's covering the halfback also rushed the passer, so... That's why it's a five-man rush, but not a blitz. Uh, anyways, you see Ruggs is just wide open. Ruggs having a great day, but this is still a difficult throw to make because there is safety help over the middle. Now, the safety had cheated over towards the offense's right, which makes this a little bit easier, but still a very difficult throw. However, look at that throw. I mean, just perfectly on the money from Derek Carr, and Ruggs makes the catch. You know, this is the kind of stuff that when Ruggs got drafted, we were hoping to see this kind of stuff. Well, it's fun to see it now. I thought that on smaller plays like this, uh, and you know, this is the kind of thing about Carr. It's like, listen, when he has to make the easy plays, he makes those. When he has to make the tough plays, he makes those. This is kind of an easier play, but it's a good example of sort of just running an offense. It's a zone coverage play. This is the typical quarters coverage that Denver likes to run. Uh, you run play action and have a receiver run over the middle, which hopefully will get into a gap in coverage pretty simple play. It's also Hunter Renfro who's running that route. So, you know, he's pretty good at this type of stuff as well. So all of this checks out. Right when this play starts, so, you know, they run the play action and Renfro is, you know, he's about to get open. This worked out well. The play action worked. And what I love about this is just watch the throw. I mean, that is exactly where you want it to be. It's a laser, but right in the chest of Renfro. Because when you throw it too hard, if you're inaccurate, that can result in some drop passes. But he was perfectly accurate, which made that work a lot easier and allowed Renfro to pick up as many yards after the catch as possible. You know, this, uh, you know, used, what used to be the John Gruden offense is kind of built a little bit around yards after the catch. So having a guy who can pick up yards after the catch is effective. And having a guy who can be really accurate and help guys pick up yards after the catch also really helpful. We have some stuff like this as well. We're on this play. This was sort of in that, you know, two-minute drill uh, towards the end of the half. What's going to happen is this is the cover one blitz. And uh, I hope that if, if there's any defensive coordinators watching this video, which there probably isn't, but if there is, uh, you know, if you're maybe there's someone who works in the NFL who watched this video, uh, tell your defensive coordinator to not blitz Derek Carr. Uh, just don't do it. Never blitz Derek Carr. Whatever you're doing, uh, stop blitzing Derek Carr. It does not work. Derek Carr has great numbers against the blitz. Uh, this is the cover one blitz, so it's not even like an all out blitz. But one of the reasons why this works so well for Derek Carr is he has Darren Waller, and Carr knows how to pick these pre-snap matchups just so well. He's always aware of this stuff. You know, if there is a blitz, I know where I'm going to throw it, and he gets rid of the ball quickly anyway, so the extra, you know, the little bit of less time he has doesn't hurt him too badly. And watch how when Carr takes the snap, he is going to float one up towards Waller, who is now just wide open. You know, another thing is he knows how to protect himself in terms of helping his offensive linemen know where to block when there is a blitz coming. So rarely you see free rushers even on these blitzes. And you have a guy like Darren Waller who can win against man pretty consistently. So especially when there's less help over the middle of the field, that makes the stuff even more difficult. And also, I mean, it's just a beautiful throw. It's just exactly where you want it to be. So all of this stuff, really good. Uh, so that is my PSA to everybody uh, out there. Stop blitzing Derek Carr. This is another example of that where what's going to happen is it's a third down and 12. 
uh, and it's going to be again this time it's just cover zero so they're not even you know uh, there's they're just all out blitzing right here this time though it is not going to be uh, it's not going to be Waller it's instead going to be Henry Ruggs and one of the things that Carr isn't afraid to do is trust his teammates but he always picks the right moments he does this in one-on-one -on -one matchups he's not being Matt Stafford who would throw into triple coverage against Calvin Johnson who would then still catch the ball Carr is giving his players chances to make plays when they have favorable matchups like Ruggs does on this play. Watch how right when this play starts, so you're going to see that Ruggs is going to do a good job of putting himself in position to be able to make this grab. So really good stuff by him right there. And also, again, look at the throw. It's just perfectly accurate, exactly where he wanted. Great play by Ruggs. To me, Ruggs made that play. He was the star of that play. But at the same time, Carr knows that Ruggs can do this kind of stuff. Carr knows who is capable of that kind of thing. And especially he knows which defensive backs might not be capable of defending that kind of thing. And he takes advantage right there. And you also have something like this. This is just a good play design. It's a play that works where what's going to happen is that it's quarters coverage. You have the receiver who is on the offense's left kind of run a deeper route and then go over the middle. This hopefully takes away the deep corner. Whereas then you can have your halfback who's actually going to run kind of a clever move. He's going to fake as though he's running just a flat route, you know, a traditional halfback type route. But instead, he's then going to go deep where the deep corner was, but was taken away. Clever stuff. And watch what happens. Right when this play starts, it is working, right? The, there is now, you know, the one uh, asterisk next to this is a linebacker, 48 for Denver, doing a good job of reading it. Reads it well. Good on him trying to cover this up but the issue is just that he's not going to be able to turn his head back because he's going to have to just try to keep pace with a halfback here it's a mismatch on a deeper route so he's doing his best but it's just it's a mismatch it's not his fault and again Carr just puts one up and I mean look at that thing just a just a beautiful throw gets a touchdown uh incredible stuff his deep ball you know up there with the best in the league with how accurate he can be uh he's a great player he really is there's no denying it and he's he's playing great right now so yeah, I mean, as a whole, uh, really good game from Derek Carr, and he, I felt like just he always did the right thing. That's kind of the thing about Carr, and I guess the one critique people put on Carr is sort of the lack of playmaker stuff, the lack of when everything goes wrong, what can he do, and I suppose that's fair, but... That's a very, you know, you can be a successful quarterback without having that as a part of your game, right? Tom Brady doesn't have that as a part of his game. You can play at a high level even without that stuff. And the way that he just makes the decisions quickly, gets the ball out quickly, and can still push the ball down the field, uh, it's really good and it's, it's really fun to watch. So, uh, yeah, I mean, back in the MVP race, Derek Carr, how about that? That's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And, of course, as always... Thanks for watching.